today I'm in downtown Long Beach and I cannot wait to show you this downtown. I'm a huge fan. I really feel it goes under the radar in terms of what it has to offer. It's cool, it's young, it's hip. It's got everything you want, the walkability. I think it's a lot safer than people believe. So today, if you wanna know what downtown Long Beach is like, what are the apartments like? How much does it cost to live here? Come along for the ride, it's gonna be a good one. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. If you're looking to make a move to Long Beach or anywhere in LA County, give me a call, always happy to help. I made the move from London back in 2008, so I, I know what it's like to make a scary move from out of state or even out of the country. All right, hope to hear from you. So today, yeah, I'm gonna introduce you to downtown Long Beach. If you're looking to live somewhere that has a little bit more hustle and bustle, a bit more of a city vibe, you like the condo living, you want to be somewhere that's up and coming and a lot of build buildings going on you've got to check out downtown long beach i'm talking primarily today between lime and pine and fourth and the ocean east village that's where a lot of buildings going on that's where a lot of these beautiful vegan restaurants are opening up yoga juice bars you name it um and what I love about this neighborhood right now, there's 100 year old buildings, the Cooper Arms, for example. If you want history and stories, check out this building, 100 years old. But then there's also brand new builds going up, charging five, six, $15,000 a month to live there. So you can imagine how good it is. 15,000 a month in Long Beach, can you believe it? Well, you can now. And don't take my word for it for how far it's come in the last five years. Billions and billions of dollars have been spent on downtown Long Beach. And you can really see where the money's gone. Theatres, libraries, the convention centre, bike paths have been put in. The walkability, like I said, is absolutely A star, but there's bike paths as well if you want to take the bike. And there's so much to do. There's an aquarium. Catalina Island you can get to from Long Beach Port less than an hour to paradise spend the weekend there trust me do it and you might say yeah but Matt isn't downtown Long Beach dangerous and full of homeless people it used to be but guess what now there's security people driving around on their bikes or their scooters keeping it safe and yes there is homeless people in downtown Long Beach of course there is but like I said if you stick between lime and pine forth in the ocean They've done a really good job cleaning it up. You see them scattered around, but it's not bad. It's not like some other cities in LA County or Northern California, like San Francisco, for example. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I do videos every week on what it's like to live in LA or Orange County. So if that's what you're looking for, hope to see you at my next video. And what I love about downtown Long Beach, even though billions of dollars have been spent on upgrading this beautiful city, it still has its culture, its history. Look at this bank. Look at the memories here. Unbelievable. And then look at the post office. And then right next door, the new Omni building, um, where places are renting for four, five, six, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a month. This is downtown Long Beach, people. And people are paying this much to rent. You know it's come a long way and you have to check it out. Also, they've put in a great metro system. Um, check out my video I posted last year. Um, I traveled from Long Beach all the way up to Hollywood on the metro. It was super easy. So once again, if you don't own a car, and you want to live in downtown Long Beach, the walkability, the accessibility, the bikes, and the metro, and the bus system, it really works perfectly, to be honest. So huge plus. Now, if you're looking to buy get on the rental market. Obviously, Southern California is expensive. Or if you're looking for a, a rental property, downtown Long Beach offers you a lot. For example, I'm about to list the studio right on Elm in the prime of my favorite part of downtown Long Beach, $225,000. Yes, it's a studio, but it's $225,000 to get on the market. And you can get yourself some nice one bedroom, two bedrooms for $500,000. And the rental market in Long Beach, really really good now if you want to live condo living by the water ocean views and you've got a million dollars to spend you can get a lovely two three bedroom condo single family homes are kind of hard to come by there's a few but they're rarely on the market so it's definitely condo living in downtown long beach um, and obviously all the buildings being built right now if you're a renter looking to move into downtown long beach i highly recommend it 
reach out. I can help you get in these buildings to take a look. You're going to be so impressed with the amenities, the pools. There's podcast recording rooms. There's um, rooms you can watch movies on big screens. There's basketball courts, two-story gyms, food courts. There's views of all of downtown LA. So yeah, if you're looking to buy, give me a call, happily help. And if you're looking to, to rent, like I said, plenty of um, options. And if you want the 100 year old classic Long Beach building with history and character, we have that to offer you. The Cooper Arms, beautiful. And then we have the super modern trendy as well. So covers all bases. I think you'll be happy. Parking is great in downtown Long Beach, to be honest. One of the best downtowns I've ever been to when it comes to finding parking. Also, guess what? You're by the beach. How many downtowns are there in America where you're literally five minute walk from the beach? Downtown Long Beach has that for you, which if you ask me, incredible when living in California. And like I said, if you're looking to move here, preferably my choice between Lime and Pine, and south of fourth. Fifth is okay, but ideally your fourth, third, second or first street. That's where the hustle and bustle is. That's where there's less homeless people, less crime. And it's just a safer neighborhood. And to be honest, that's, that's where most of the money's being pumped in. So lime pine, fourth to the ocean, you're gonna love it. Also, if you like the industrial vibe, condos to buy or rent, Long Beach has some amazing ones. Just one big room. It's your Good. living room, it's your bedroom, it's your dining room but they're so great the wood beams are showing the iron raw iron is showing great industrial vibe long beach is known for that especially downtown long beach so if that's your vibe come over here so if you live in long beach but you're thinking about working in hollywood santa monica culver city you're just too far as you can see here it's a good one hour drive up to those places you're pretty close to lax though if you do travel a lot Long Beach has an amazing airport as well that goes to most destinations um, within America, plus Cabo, so that's great, and Hawaii. Um, but yeah, Long Beach, as you can see, you're kind of south, um, near South Bay, uh, near Orange County too, so you get the best of LA County and Orange County. But if you're thinking about working in Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Long Beach, probably not a good choice. And if you've got friends or family coming to visit you, we've got some really cool downtown hotels. If they want modern or older, cool vibe, uh, plenty to offer. You're right by the beach. You've got the Southern California weather. Guess what? Friends and family will visit. Another great community touch on Thursdays between five and nine, right here on the promenade between third and second. You have about 30 local um, companies here serving food, making arts and crafts, which they're selling. So everyone comes together. It's a great vibe. I can't see, you can see the lights all come on. Really good community, a lot of fun. Um, and downtown Long Beach does have a nice community. Um, and that's a real nice touch if you ask me. And there's just so much to do in the evenings. You want to go to a burlesque or evening shows at the weekend there's drag brunches there's comedy shows there's great distilleries breweries fancy restaurants low-key restaurants music scene no matter what you want real fancy jazz piano playing restaurants downtown long beach has it all more buildings going up must be spending a fortune like downtown Long Beach is going places and really now is a great time to get in. I can just see prices going up and up and up over the next three or four years. Even the winter, no, the Water Olympics are going to be here. The water events in the Olympics of 2028. It's going to put downtown Long Beach on the map. So yeah, if you're looking to buy in, now could be the perfect time. There's also a great shopping area in downtown Long Beach. There's a theater. There's so much to do. And once again, the walkability, you can walk to all of it. You really don't need a car. So yeah, I'm loving the shops. I'm loving the restaurants. I'm loving the things to do. I'm loving it. Also, if you're a young professional looking to move into an area of LA where there's abundance of work, downtown Long Beach, once again, plenty of offices, plenty of companies, plenty of opportunities, and definitely worth a look. So if you're looking to move to a vibrant city or maybe invest somewhere where you can make some money and downtown Long Beach is not on your radar, it should be. If you ask me, it has everything for a city to thrive. A young community pumping a lot of money into it. Old buildings, new buildings, culture. Um, 
it's really gentrifying. I'm a huge fan. Definitely come take a look at it. Call me with any questions. You're going to like it. Another great plus, if you ask me, is how inclusive and diverse downtown Long Beach is. No matter who you are, um, you're going to be included. There's a lot of parades down here as well. So yeah, downtown Long Beach, really inclusive. If you ask me, loving it. Also, along with the extra security to make downtown safe, they're also actively cleaning. I'm seeing people all the time here cleaning, picking up litter, um, and it's making a huge difference. So if you're looking to move to a downtown neighborhood, you want that hustle and bustle, you want that city vibe, but you're wondering, is it safe enough for me to walk around at night? If you ask me, the answer is yes. Stay below 4th Street. You'll get the hustle and bustle. You'll get the city vibe. I love the city vibe. I'm from London and I kind of miss that. Living in Los Angeles, just like a sprawling neighborhood. Downtown Long Beach gives you that city vibe that a lot of people are missing. Come check it out. So I think this says it all, no matter what your taste, if you want the old or if you want the new, downtown Long Beach has that for you. Um, what more can I say really? And another great thing about downtown Long Beach, it's small, it's not big. It's not like some of the downtowns that can just swallow you up and you can get lost. It's quaint. How many downtowns can you call quaint? So if you're looking for that nightlife and fun, downtown Long Beach, but yeah, if you're looking for the quaint lifestyle as well, peace and quiet, you can get that here. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, a local realtor. And like I said, if you're looking to make a move, give me a call, always happy to help, happy to answer any questions. I'll see you soon.